So I just got sent a hundred and thirty three thousand dollars. Thank you. Um, I don't want oh, this to come be on. Uh... All right, we're live. Oh, yeah. Okay, people are always asking me, oh, you're a landscape contractor, eh? What do you do in the winter? What not everybody knows is that I own a house in Mountain that I'm renting out to some people. I'm gonna bring them a little bit of a Christmas present. Oh, what do we have here? My Christmas present storage area. Oh, Chateau Cartaillac. Basti. I'll just grab this. Got a Christmas present. Why am I giving them a Christmas present now? Because what do I do in the winter? I'm going to Belize a couple days. Yeah, why do I go to Belize? That's another great question for you. Because I just sold my house there. Do you have a house in Belize, Jonathan? Yes. Well, no, because it's sold. Use some. Realtors, developers, they're fun people. And uh, see what's going on in the old Belizean times. So, recap, what did we do today? We drank coffee, we uploaded a video from the concert on the weekend. Uh, I talked to my bookkeeper, because we're trying to get year-end stuff wrapped up before I go to Belize, mostly. Oh, I made myself a smoothie. I always put raw eggs in my smoothies because that's delicious. Mmm. Delicious. Anyways, big news today is I'm waiting for my payment from my house sale. Just coming from an account in the US and Scotiabank. Just a little shout out. You're poorer than you think when you're with Scotiabank, not richer, because like I actually I guess I'm I'm richer than Scotiabank things because Scotiabank gets all suspicious of my foreign business dealings. And I'm very, very annoyed with them. The hardest thing, believe it or not, about, bank, about um, building in Belize and developing real estate is the banking from Canada. That's the hardest part. Nice. I'll turn around. I'm going to meet my sales guy while I'm here. After working out. I work out with my sales guy. So we're going to do working out and then we're going to do some sales reviews. Catch you later. Okay, so Jordan and I are trying to figure out what we can do. What super awesome workouts we can do is show you guys how good we are working out. Jordan wants to do a quick flex. Jordan's really good at working out. Because I'm going to Belize soon, I don't want to injure myself. I also need to work on a lot of upper body, so I look good on the beach. Curls is good. Maybe a little bench. I haven't done bench in a while. Jordan is meanwhile doing a massive bench Please. press set. Gonna do some abs. I'm gonna do some leg raises. Then I'm rehabbing my ankle still. So I think I'm gonna do some re ankle rehab. <sighs> breathe, breathe. This is just for the abs. So I got good abs. Not good enough. Back against the back here. I just lifted too heavy. Didn't didn't prepare myself properly. So now I'm calling the chiropractor. I'm going to Belize on Wednesday, so I want to get an appointment in ASAP. You gotta remember what's important in life. We're gonna be doing a farmer's carry competition. I'm not looking forward to doing this. We're gonna grab some 45 pound plates. Like so. And we're just gonna walk back and forth until we drop them. It's pretty basic, pretty boring, pretty terrifying. So let's go. Oh my gosh, you guys actually do it Yeah. Ready, hop. One, two, three. That's <laughs> it. Wait, you're gonna go over I gotta here. go over here. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. That is hard. What's the most important part of working out? Sauna and hot tub. What's the most important part of working out? 
just the overall feeling that it brings to your heart when you... Um... What's the most important part of working out? Purple shorts. <laughs> when picking a personal trainer, you can go to Jordan, Carly, Tim. Darcy! <laughs> I know who I'm choosing. We're not that guy. <laughs> hey guys, another Pearl Lance favorite tip. Always hang out with your bank guy and your sales guy, so every single thing you do is tax right off. Very smart. I played so badly yesterday, I was very embarrassed. Evgeny the other day says, Jonathan, you've improved, and I was like, yes. Well, I like how yeah, you've been playing good. And, and then, then you played well on D as well. We did 13 skaters. That seems like a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's three yeah. full lines. It's three yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> It looks, it actually looks, and this lighting, like, it looks, you look like, so you got, like, a massive chest. I uh, know. Yeah. Yeah, Evgeny looks super cut right now. <laughs> We're just looking through the quotes from Toronto. Awesome, pretty straightforward, too. He wants a Reese all the time. Gobble, gobble. But anyways, that's all. It's all, it's all she wrote? It's all she wrote, yeah, yeah. Sweet. These are called gains. You eat them after working out. They go direct. They go directly into your into your muscles. Let's do these. <laughs> what have we accomplished so far? First, we have to fix our hair. It looks dis despicable. Gone to the gym. We had lunch. We reviewed some sales stuff. We watched Croatia beat Japan in a penalty shootout. So now it's time to head to Mountain to see my tenant, pick up some mail, give her a bottle of wine. Apparently it's, it's normal to give your, your tenants gifts, so I guess we're doing it. So we do. Last time I was in Belize, I got pulled over. This was during the license uh, grace period in Canada. I got pulled over and they were like, your license is expired. Um, I was driving a golf cart at the time. So in Belize, so I was on this island in Belize called Ambergris Key, and I was driving a golf cart, and the police pulled me over and asked to see my license and registration, and uh, my license was expired, and so they were gonna get, they wanted to throw me in jail because, you know how they are there, and I was like, nah, -uh. I was told I had to pull up on my phone like the website from Ontario showing that my driver's license wasn't expired because of the like shutdowns of the ministries of this and that so licenses weren't getting renewed they're like well that's just like in your country in our country you need um a, a real license i was like well it is a real license and there's this period where you can't get any license so i'm good they're like no i don't i don't accept that so i had to bribe somebody <sighs> classic so it was like 50 bucks or something and there's this whole thing with my with my connection there who, who knew about how to bribe other people better and blah 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 and yeah so anyways this time I want to make sure I have a license that's valid so that I don't have to do any bribing because I don't want to do a bribe that I really that I really like I really want to do because like if you bribe someone to say if you want to like import some white claws to Belize you need to bribe somebody but like those are claws you know there ain't no laws with white claws um so you do want to bribe the person to let you let you get them in, but if it's just to drive a car or a cart, a golf cart, and you have to bribe someone to drive a golf cart, that seems pretty lame. Always make your bribes count, is my motto. I have this thing where I grow older, never wise or vain. Midnight's become my afternoon. Yeah, she really is the problem in that song. Just grow up, Taylor. You've been been through a lot I'm sorry but really I think with all like if I had that much money I would just be in therapy every week maybe twice a week just helps help work through all my issues like why doesn't she have a relationship coach you think she can afford a relationship coach at this stage she obviously has problems I think you know I think I think she likes having problems I don't think she wants to be better she doesn't want to be healthy she's discovered that people relate to all her stupid life decisions and therefore, she's just embracing the stupid life decisions. 
So that's cool and all, but you know, she should stop complaining about it. And like I said, grow up. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Is that what the song's about? Is the song about her sucking? Because I would agree. I would agree with that. If that's what the song's about. So maybe I do like one song off her new album. If it's about her sucking. Yeah. Successful clip. Okay, I'm going to listen to the podcast now. So I just went to uh, the Service Ontario in Campville because I need to renew my driver's license and uh, change the address on it and as well do my health card. So in Ottawa the lineups could be like half a day long but in Campville it was about two minutes. So I highly recommend going to Campville for all your Service Ontario needs. Ooh, that's where I used to buy my chicken feed. I don't have chickens anymore. They're all dead. They died. The fox ate them. So that was a depressing day. I'm probably gonna head home and do some laundry before I have a birthday party to go to, as well as a soccer team get together. Got a lot of stuff going on. So do laundry and prep so that I can go to Belize on Wednesday. Good content today at the Gaim. The Gaim. The Gaim is the gym. It's a Simpsons reference. Gaim. It's a Gaim. Oh, a game. Not that I've ever seen The Simpsons. I was allowed to watch The Simpsons growing up because that was sinful and immoral. But uh, I had a roommate who really liked The Simpsons, so I learned a lot about them through that period of life. So I just got sent $133,000 for uh, upon the closing of my house. I'm kind of speechless, kind of impressed. Last December, started researching real estate in Belize. And yeah, now that was December 2020. December 2022, I have made tens and tens of thousands of dollars on this deal. Um, and I'm just kind of in shock and awe that it's possible to do that. It's, it's done, it's finished, everything's good. I don't know.